With Midjourney's new style reference feature, dash dash SREF, you can use your favorite images to create whole worlds with consistent style aesthetics. This feature is incredibly powerful, but you might not realize its full potential. Today, we're doing a deep dive into the style reference feature, the multiple ways that you can use it, and how it interacts with your prompts and other parameters. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive in. Style reference is a parameter that we can include after our main prompt text. Just type dash dash SREF, a space, and then paste in the URL of an image that you want to use as a style reference. You can use the URL of an image in your Midjourney gallery, or if you have an image already in Discord that you want to use, just right click on the image and select copy link and paste it into your prompt. You can also upload an image to Discord by clicking the plus sign down here and then right click and copy link. Midjourney will look at your style reference image and try to apply the same style aesthetics to your results. In this example, my style reference has an ultraviolet fluorescence look to it, lots of purple, and her glasses look like they're glowing. Using that as a style reference, I prompted for an apartment building made of marble, a cute dog sitting on top of a mountain in Norway, and a white truck parked in front of an old gas station. All of them have that purple, cool-toned color palette, and some element of each image looks like it's fluorescent or glowing. You can also use style reference images in Niji V6, which is Midjourney's anime-trained model. Just replace dash dash V6 with dash dash Niji 6. Style references are not the same as the style tuner that we have in V5. The V5 style tuner is a more interactive process, and at the end, you get a style code to include in your prompt. I have a video on that that I'll link. You can think of using a style reference as similar to using a style code, but I think style references are more powerful and easier to use. If you have favorite style codes that you've been using in V5, try using some of the images that you created with those style codes as style references and see if you get similar aesthetics in V6. This is a great way to try to transfer your V5 style codes to a style reference that you can use in V6. When you first start using style reference, I recommend using one style reference image to start with and try it on a diverse set of prompts. This will give you a feel for the behavior of that style reference across diverse prompts. And just like with style codes, some style references might not give you the results that you expect for every type of prompt. A style reference might work really well for your portrait style prompts, but have unexpected results on a prompt for a tree. Someday we'll be able to tell Midjourney, I want the colors from this image, the character from this image, and the medium from this image, but we're not there just yet. Now you may be wondering, what is the difference between a style reference and an image prompt? When you use an image prompt, your image URL goes at the beginning of the prompt instead of after a dash dash parameter. The purpose of using an image prompt is to bring in the semantic content from the image, so things like character, places, and things. When I use this image as an image prompt with the text illustration of a robot in a field of wildflowers, I get some robot-like features, but the boy from the reference image is clearly visible, as are the colorful shapes coming out of his head. If I use that same image as a style reference, Midjourney pulls out the visual aesthetics, colors, and overall vibe of the image. My robot looks much more like a robot and the color palette is near identical to the reference. I could even use this image as both an image prompt and as a style reference, which I could see being useful if you're trying to get both consistent characters and consistent aesthetics. Using the style reference parameter with a single image is powerful by itself, but there are more knobs and dials that we can play with to control and refine how a style reference affects our results. The first of those is the style weight parameter, dash dash SW. This is very similar to the stylize parameter. If you're not familiar with stylize, stylize controls the strength of the default Midjourney aesthetic. Most people have this set to 100 by default. You can check this in your settings by typing slash settings in Discord. The default value for style weight is 100 and it has the same range as stylize, which is zero to 1000. The greater the style weight, the greater the effect that the style reference will have on your results. The strength of the style weight though doesn't seem to increase linearly. There's a huge change from style weight one up to 50. After that, it seems like the effect plateaus pretty quickly. At the time of making these images, V6 was still in alpha, so it's possible that the style weight behavior will change a little with future updates. And depending on what you're prompting for, the default style weight of 100 might be too overpowering. 
I used that same Bubbles image as a style reference, but I asked for a children's book illustration of a dog. The style reference image isn't an illustration, but I wanted to bring that color palette and apply it to an illustration type image. At a style weight of 100, the style reference really overpowers the prompt here. We get the color palette, but no illustration. One way we can try to fix this is to decrease the style weight. By decreasing it to 15, I was able to get illustrations in three out of the four images, and they have a similar color palette as my style reference. So lowering the style weight is one way to get closer to my goal. Another approach is to try including more than one style reference image because the style reference parameter can accept multiple URLs. Just separate each URL with a space. So to boost my chance of getting illustration style images, I included this image as a second style reference. And these are the results that I got at style weight 100 much more in line with what I was going for. And I can play around with this a little bit more by decreasing the style weight or decreasing the stylized value and see how that affects my results. Now in this example, I have two style reference URLs and Midjourney has weighted both of these style reference images equally, but maybe I want the illustration image to have three times more of an influence on my results compared to the pink and green bubbles image. We can assign relative weights by putting two colons and a number after the image URL. So I put colon colon three after my second image URL, which is the illustration image. Playing around with these relative weights can be really fun, especially if you have diverse style references. I've been throwing around a lot of URLs in these examples, and if you're working with the same style reference images over and over, copying and pasting those URLs each time is going to get old quick. So instead, I recommend saving your favorite style reference URLs as custom options. Midjourney has a little known command called slash prefer options set, and you can pre-save anything you want with this command. Let me show you how it works. First, copy your image URL, then type slash prefer option set and a space. The first thing that we wanna do is give this URL a code name. So I'll call this style pastel underscore neon. Then press the tab key and click value. Here we're gonna paste in the image URL and then press enter. And now I have a custom option named pastel underscore neon that contains my image URL. Okay, great, but how do I use that in a prompt? First, I just need to type my prompt, then dash dash S-R-E-F, a space. And then I'm gonna type dash dash followed by the name that I gave that custom option, which was pastel underscore neon. After I submit the job, you can see in the prompt that dash dash pastel underscore neon has been replaced with the URL that I saved in that custom option. You can do this with multiple style reference images and save them all as different custom options and then put them together in different combinations in your prompts and use relative weights with them as well. To see all of the custom options that you've saved, just type slash prefer option list. And if you need to delete one of your custom options, type slash prefer option set, the name of the custom option that you wanna delete, and then just press enter. So what do you think of the new style reference feature? Do you like it better than the V5 style tuner? Let me know down in the comments. I do have a new series of videos on Midjourney V6 prompts that'll be starting soon. So make sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.